Right, the next move on this, um, I've still got all this junk here on the bench. Not really junk. All the uh, switches and that. So the next move is going to be to make a housing for it. So I've made a cardboard one just to see how it would fit. So we'll pop over the lathe and I'll stick that where it's going to go and show you what I want to do. Uh, this is where the buttons are at the moment and the general idea is to make an aluminium box like that to fit on there with the buttons in the top there. Right, so that's where it's going to go. Um, I've got this old bit of aluminium I've had kicking about for ages. I don't think it's anodised, I think it's just been painted or coated with something. It's got a lot of holes in it. I don't know who that's going to show up on the camera, but it's got an awful lot of holes in it. But I've got some of these welding rods things. These are aluminium rods, so I'm going to give them a go. Cutting this out and putting it together. I would like to bend it into shape, but I haven't got anything. I can't bend this. I won't bend this neatly. And I think it'll break if I try to bend it anyway. But, um, so my next move is to put me little cutting table on the bandsaw, change the blade because I've got a coarse one on it at the moment and start cutting out, take this to bits and start cutting them out. Well, I've got the bits cut. My metal band saw didn't have anywhere near deep enough throat to get these through, most of them. So I ended up doing them on my wood band saw. Not ideal or recommended, but got a job done. Could have got my jigsaw out and done them, but they got it done. Right, so I'm just going to clean up all the edges now. Well, it's been a few days since I last was attacking this. I've cleaned all the um, bits up, tidied all the edges up, got all the paint off them. And now I'm going to try and, well, I call it aluminium welding, but it's really soldering, I think. But uh, I've never done it before. I'm just going to have a go at it now with this. I bought these aluminium welding rods on eBay. It was only four quid. And... If you're watching A Up Tony, the uh, boom mic stand is acting as a third hand for this job. It's a very handy piece of kit to have in your workshop. The gift keeps on giving even. Anyway, I'm going to have a go at aluminium welding. I've watched a few YouTube videos and seen other people do some of it. Um, and this isn't a structural bit, it's just trying to solder this box together really weld it as they call it but it's really soldering i can't get these things out of the plastic i can't remember how big these are about two or three millimeter rods these was oh oh i don't want to come out of there hold on a minute let's get a knife and get these out right so i've managed to free one of these welding rods now, I mean, like I say, they call this aluminium welding, but um, not welding in my book, anyway. Basically, I just booted that, bloody brilliant. Right, I even bought a brand new stainless steel wire brush for this. So I've already cleaned it and wire brushed it. 
then you have to heat it up it's supposed to wire brush it again when you've heated it up probably to get some of the oxidization of it ah oh, for fuck's sake i just moved that again right so basically this is more like soldering than welding because you it's the job that melts the rod rather than the rod and melting into the metal like in welding but i'm going to give it a go so i'm going to warm this up give it another clean and then see if it works so i'll zoom you in on the actual job and we'll see how we go This is only a propane torch I'm using, but I think this gets up to about 1100, 1200 degrees. I think the melting point of this is supposed to be about 730. a little bit of aluminium in here just to hold it in place which is obviously can act as a bit of an heat sink paint's only just starting to burn up the other bit got this digital thermometer according to that it's only about 160 degrees at the moment I'll give that another clean now. Shit, that's hot.
because sod makes all the rules around here, decided this would be a good time for me little blowtorch to pack up. So I've had to sort my other one out. My old ball finch. Very old, it's got a wooden handle this one. Well this ain't no good, the metal's melting before the uh, the rod, and if you can see it there, it's starting to go to Burton, what a load of shit. See this working then. Well, that definitely ain't gonna do it. The metal's melting before this. I mean, they were only cheap shit. Others might be better, but I'm gonna have to come up with another plan for this.
Well, this is what we've ended up with. Had to rivet it in the end because them welding rods didn't work. I'd have preferred not to have had rivets in it. I think they make it look a bit uglier, but not to worry. And these and the top is screwed on with these little screws. just in case I need to get it on and off at some point of course I didn't manage it without trying to drill through my finger because I'm a prat I should have tied it up a bit give myself a bit more space but not really what I'm like right so I've got to go and drill Drill the holes in this now for the screws. For the, for the screws. I've got to go and drill the holes in this now to put the switches in. And then I'll have a box with holes for switches in it. Well that's it, we're getting there, that's all the switches fitted, I just wanted to make sure they all fitted and it went back on the top alright. So that's about it for this one I reckon. I'm going to rub this down and probably paint it. Make the proper little board for all this crap to go on. And we're nearly ready to fit it to the lathe. Well, Christmas is nearly on us, so this will probably be the last video of this year. It's another year come and gone. I'd just like to say to everyone out there who's viewed the video, subscribed, commented, made me laugh, took the piss, for all the advice that I've had this year from people out there, really thank you very much. I really do appreciate you. You all make my life a little bit better, so thanks very much for that. Have a lovely Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.